There are two primary ways that people give to the life of the church, designated giving and general budget giving. In this short video, I would like to speak to you about designated giving. Now, you accomplish a lot of good at Forest Lake through your designated gifts, and I appreciate it very much. You are making such a huge difference. The recent renovations to the building are an excellent example of that. You promised your money for a specific cause, the renovation of the building, and all of your money is being used only for that cause. Thanks to your generosity, we have the new floors in place. The, the painting is, is being completed. The woodwork is being done. New chairs are being ordered. All of those upgrades to our facilities are possible only because of your generosity through that designated gift. We accomplish a lot through those gifts, uh, but they have their shortcomings as well. There is a weakness to designated giving that I want to, want to make sure that you are aware of as well. Once a project is complete, if there's money left over in that fund, it's very complicated to move that money over into the general budget where it could be used for other purposes. There are ethical considerations. Once you've promised money to one ministry area, we can't just automatically move it over to another ministry area. Plus, sometimes we have money in designated funds for ministries that we no longer do. We've got literally hundreds of dollars that are sitting in funds for ministries that have not been active in Forest Lake in 10 years or more. We've got money in a Stevens ministry fund. We have money in men's basketball fund. Now that money sits there given for good purposes, but now not being used for anything because it is tied up under that designation. What's more, sometimes people will give money for something that they hope the church will do, but it never gets around to doing it. And that money gets tied up in designated funds. Now, you give your money because you want it to be useful. You want to build the church and to build God's kingdom in the world. Designated gifts can help to do that. But I want to help you understand that sometimes that money gets tied up and we need to look for ways to release it. So when you're giving to designated giving, I encourage you to make sure that you're giving towards things that are ongoing, things that are active. And if for some reason, the area you're giving to ceases to become a ministry that you'd be willing to release that money into general budget areas. Thank you again for your generosity. Your giving makes such a difference in the life of the church.